My name is Christy Figueroa Perez, and I am a mother of four girls and one stepdaughter. And I am, am pleased to be here today about health care reform because I am blessed to be able to have all six of my family members on my health coverage. I work at the San Diego Community College District and I'm a senior clerical assistant and I've been there for approximately, well, 23 years. So this is my daughter, Angelise de Rosé Jasmine Figueroa, and she's 15 years old. And Angelise has had um, four major kidney surgeries and then of course hundreds of procedures that go along with that. And if it wasn't for the healthcare reform, then Angelise would not be able to be covered by any other company because of the pre-existing conditions. So, uh, and it also kind of ties me into my job. There's really, you can't leave your job to get a, another higher position or anything because of that, those pre-existing conditions, you know that no one else will cover them. So, and not only with Angelise, but also with my eight-year-old Kehlani, she has ITP, which is low platelet count, another pre-existing condition. Both Kehlani, this is Kehlani, and this is Angelise, um, Without the health care reform, those pre-existing conditions would, would stop us from moving forward and getting those coverage. My two older daughters, uh, Janae and Celisa, and Janae is the age of 26 right now. She was covered all of her life up until about the age of 21, 22, and then she, where she was taken off um, because. because she did not qualify. You know, uh, when she, if you're not in school at the, after the age of 19, she's, she was done with her college. Um, and if you're married and or you know non-dependent of me then so she was taken off um, with health care reform i was able to put janae back on there for a full year of coverage where she was able to then go in and use that medical coverage and pay her bills um, and not have those extra expenses for my daughter salisa who is 22 um, salisa was uh, had some back problems she's always also been on my insurance salisa um, had a baby. She had complications and my granddaughter was in the hospital for about a month as well. Um, so Lisa had severe back problems during pregnancy and afterwards so she also incurred some expenses uh, dental and uh, medical that we would not have been able to afford. I think that I've been able to save at least four thousand dollars for one of my daughters in about eighteen hundred and that's just the baseline. That doesn't in include the cost of, of the prescriptions doesn't include the cost of you know travel or anything else. But we have dental, uh, vision, and and a Kaiser, and so we know. I mean, four thousand, five thousand, eight hundred. It doesn't seem like that much, but when you're not working, it's a whole lot for us. If my daughters did not have health insurance on my with my job, they would probably never go to the doctor. I you know I see so many other people if they don't have, they don't want to incur those costs, and those emergency. If you go to the emergency room, it's double or triple, right? So uh, both Elisa and Janae probably would have never gotten uh, to be as healthy as they are for one, but I don't think they would have ever been able to go to a doctor just because they, you have to come up with those out-of-cost expenses and you don't want to lose your family and your life, your housing and stuff because you can't afford to pay your bills and your credit goes bad, which I see a lot of America going through.